everybody, Chris here, Four Directions Bushcraft. I, uh, we're walking along uh, today, doing a hike. It just got done raining, so everything's real uh, kind of misty, beautiful out. So um, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to identify uh, flint or chert. Um, in um, in Missouri, we don't we don't really have good uh, we don't have obsidian. Of course, you need the ocean for that. Um, unless you buy it, but uh, we don't have really good uh, like Georgia chert or F Florida chert, Texas chert, stuff like that. We um, we have, uh, it's kind of, I mean, it's chert that you can, you can obviously use for arrowheads. You can make a lot of stuff here in, in Missouri. Uh, it's usable, but uh, I wouldn't say it's like high grade, like, like chert that you would get from Oregon and stuff like that. But anyway, the chert that we have, um, I, I may I nap uh, arrowheads out of. I heat treat all of it. I'll do a video on that a little bit uh, at a different time. But uh, we're just walking along the trail, and all, I mean, you can find chert almost everywhere, uh, flint almost everywhere. And I wanted to do a quick video on how to kind of pick it out from other rocks. Uh, it took me a while to to kind of notice what to look for, but once I got it down. I mean, it's like everything is chert. Like, I, I can pick out flint almost anywhere now. So, um, let me tell you some of the detailed, some of the signs that I look for in a rock um, that I can tell without without even without even taking a a flake off of it. I can tell that it's that it's a pretty good uh, piece. So, I picked up a couple of pieces just right here along the trail, and and I'll take the camera and we'll do a little little uh, searching uh, with you as well um, but this is what I'm talking about this is a really good piece uh, obviously the color uh, it's a little more shiny here if I get it wet um, without even taking a flake off of this I can tell it's gonna be good obviously it's real sharp right there real sharp edge same thing it's a little more glassy on the inside and uh, chert has has ridges um, and facets, like uh, like almost like your the corner of your house, like um, like the corner of your room. It has facets. So, for instance, like that rock here, you can see ridges going up there. Platforms being created already. Platforms here, ridges here. Really definitive ridges. That would that's good chert right there without even taking a, a, a flake off of it I know it is okay and um, not all chert is gonna be orangish yellow like this um, some of it is more light tan pink but you notice the facets again Okay, that's good flint. So if I take a spall off the side of this, we can take a better look at what's we can take a better look at what's in the middle of that real nice flint there. And look at the piece I knocked off, see? That right there, that can skin a fish, maybe even a squirrel if it was a little bit bigger. You could put that between two sticks. You could put that between two sticks and make a cutting edge out of it. Uh, lash it together with a paracord, make a cutting edge out of it just as it is. So that's just one flake off of this. Let's see if we can't knock another one off of here. This is not a hammer stone that I brought from home or anything. I just picked it up off the ground. You can use almost anything. Let's try to knock another piece off of this and see what we can find. Well, I busted it all the way in half. But that's what the chert in Missouri does a lot 
it has a lot of cracks it has a lot of air pockets in it and it just busts right in half a lot especially if you don't heat treat it um, when I heat treat uh, Missouri chert it sometimes breaks in the, the heating process in the homemade kiln that I uh, have it sometimes breaks in that but I mean look at that piece that's sharp that'll cut you straight to the bone just as it is so that's the flint or chert that we find on the trail this is a really good piece if I didn't have so much at home I'd take take some of this home and nap it out but again uh, the reason I heat treat it is it gives me longer flakes um, longer shock waves through my flint uh, and it makes it easier it, it turns it into kind of like ceramic a little bit you know real brittle uh, and it changes colors it changes the um, changes the um, the colors of the stone as well normally they turn pink and red when you fire them so Missouri chert let me kick you back on and we'll look around along the trail and I'll, I'll tell you how to point it out okay all right everybody so let's look so just by scanning the ground real quick I can kind of see that a lot of this is chert that would be good you can see the facet there and the color of it this one might not be too bad I don't know a lot of this is trial and error you gotta pick them up spall a little section off and see if it's nappable that might be a good one that's a red one that looks good um, let's see what else we can find this one right here next to my foot that looks like a good little piece right there too Got the facet there, and there, and then that color. Uh, let's see what else. Here's a bigger one over here. But I can tell that this one if you if you nap a piece off of that it's gonna break all up and in, into little bitty pieces because there's no definitive facets on there there's too many little ones so if you bust that it's gonna bust into a lot of pieces the more you take spalls off of flint the more you'll learn which ones are good I don't know about that one Let's see what else we got over here, maybe. So here, right above my bag is some different kind of flint or chert. I don't know if that one's gonna be a good one. This one looks pretty good. That's a good piece that uh, Brandon just found. It's a skipping one. It's a skipping one? It's got a lot of facets and some different color right there. Looks like it might crack right there though. If you hit it. Alright, just right down the trail. We can see this one right here. Looks really, really good. This one here. The colors and all the facets that it has. And those on the back, that's probably gonna be a really, really good one. Lots of platforms, natural platforms already. Really good chert. This one. That one might break up. I don't know, this one here. But they're just all along this trail. So, thanks for joining us. 
on how to identify chert. Go out and experiment yourself and um, just knock pieces off, spall pieces off of uh, different rocks. And um, so you might, you, might, uh, you might even find some arrowheads that uh, somebody else, you know, uh, an Indian made or somebody else uh, made years ago. So this has been, um, this has been fun and uh, thanks for your views, your comments and support and we'll see you on the next one.